hello everyone so welcome back so in this video let's see about the uh, databricks monitoring okay so if you just uh, go to the uh, uh, compute okay so you can see all the uh, clusters here right so if i just click on to the any one cluster okay so under this okay so we have an option called metrics okay so if you just click on to this metrics okay so here we have a ganglia live metrics okay so you can just try to open this okay so uh, so this is a building into this databricks by default okay so and it is it will collect all this information in every 15 minutes and even can view the snapshot of the live data okay so here you can see so under the main we have all these options okay uh, the clusters loaded last hour then the cluster memory okay so and the cpu and the network okay so and the to uh, and the cpu total and the host and host down okay so you can see uh, uh based on the two hours four hours day month week or okay you can just customize this okay so under the search you can just uh, search uh, any number of metrics and host okay so under the view tab you can just access okay so uh, we have uh, under the view tab based on the like uh, for example a day okay in a single day uh, what is the uh, metrics you want to see you can just uh, view here okay you can see here aggregates and graphs okay so aggregated graphs uh, let's try to open this uh yeah so here i'm just getting some uh, errors okay so basically you'll be getting okay so aggregated graphs okay so here uh, you have uh, events okay so if you want to collect all the reports uh, automation rotation and the live dashboard okay so let's wait uh, let's wait here okay so here in live dashboard okay so it provides all the overview of all view metrics in the compact format okay with where the data updates every 15 minutes okay so apart from this even we have other option called azure monitor okay so meanwhile let's uh so azure monitor uh basically uh, uh it helps you to maximize the availability and performance application and services okay so it is uh, no native support for the databricks okay so here we need to uh uh, download and install something called drop wizard metrics library okay so once you have installed then you will have then you need to build a jar file okay so uh, which is available on the github okay uh, then you need to create something called gauges and counters okay so this is some uh, steps you need to follow but yeah so just remember the name so we have other option called azure monitor okay from where you can just uh, uh, get all the uh, configuration okay so apart from this even we have something called grafana okay so which also open source visualization platform uh, so even it, it has certain steps like even you need to install the drop wizard metrics library in the databricks then you need to configure uh, azure log analytics uh, workspace and deploy a uh, configure uh, then you need to deploy and configure this grafana i okay, just remember the name we have a grafana we have uh, 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 the ganglia right and when we have a azure monitor okay these are some of the monitoring options available uh, to monitor all these azure bricks activities